Hi, Sagittarius. This is Mystic Virgo 4444. Thank you all for rejoining me. The video I posted out earlier today, uh, you can probably hear it. I don't know what's going on with the sound, but I've reset my computer. So hopefully I can get this message out to you all. Uh, I've tried to send a message out to you all yesterday, and I had the same issue. So I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. Um, so we'll see what we can find here. See what we can salvage from the from the relationship, from the reading. Maybe you all are trying to salvage a relationship. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the messages that I uh, spoke up earlier about you, Sagittarius, are about to meet someone new, and the cross watcher, uh, you are having to move on with your life but the Sagittarius is getting ready to meet someone new someone new some new changes are happening for the Sagittarius but if you are a, a cross watcher who was watching the video earlier and you couldn't make out what I was saying for anyone I deleted all of those because they weren't right <laughs> but uh even the cross watcher it's time for you to make some changes in your life uh self-proclamations um, just living differently for you for yourself said um cross watcher okay because it's time for you to move away from the Sagittarius if that's something that you choose do you have free will you can do what you want to do but there's definitely something new coming for the Sagittarius but there's also something new coming for you cross watcher and that's pretty much what the video was about earlier uh, but the sound was kind of muffled and I know you all couldn't hear it so I'm just going to report re report these weekly videos for you all they are uh, timeless readings so whenever you catch the reading, it's for you. And I apologize earlier for the sound issues with the other readings, okay? First of all, we have here is the King of Swords for you, Sagittarius. You're wanting to let some things go. You have let some things go. There's time for you to make some changes in your life, some major changes here, probably with a love affair, a love that's coming into your life. I don't read reverses, okay? So maybe an issue from uh, your relationship is changing. Or has changed, or needs, you know, or need, it, it needs to change. Okay, um, want to offer up something, or someone wants to offer you something. You know that whatever it is that you cut out of your life, it, it's a slow, it was, it's a slow pill. To, it's like a, a hard pill for you to swallow, but it's, it was necessary for you to let this go because you know that you deserve more. You want more for yourself. You want more for your life, for more for your world. You want to offer someone your love. Your love. You want to offer them you. 100% for uh, the Sagittarian who is watching. Your world has changed. And you want someone new in your world. Who can only add to the beauty. Yep, you want someone new in your world. You have someone new coming into your life. Okay? You want to meet your destiny. You, Sagittarius, are going to meet your destiny. And your destiny is is with someone new, um, not with your cross watcher. Unfortunately, it could be if free will is, is at play here. Uh, but you're definitely going to meet someone new, and it is it, that's just the way it is. You know, it's like take it or leave it kind of energy. By cutting this person out, by choosing to follow your own mind. Instead of your heart, Sagittarius, you're making a decision that's very important to you. Uh, ooh, because uh, with you deciding to move on away from this person, the cross watcher, you're thinking about about what you've been through with this person, the pain, the heartache, the failure, the cries, the tears, whatever you've been through with this person, you know that you want something different. You don't want this pain and this anger and this heartache and the cheating or any anything negative that's going to follow your new life. You decided to take a new step, a new look, and a new approach at life in general because you, you're ready to grow, okay? But you're coming out of this 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 emotional uh, turmoil that you've been in. And once you do that, and, and I think you're at this situation to now to where you know you want and you deserve better for you. And it's coming for you because you have a two of cups love style that you want to that you want to establish with this with this new person or with the person from your past okay you standing you believe in who you are this person who you're meeting or who you're gonna, who you're going to hook up with Sagittarius they believe in you too they want to believe in you and they'll tell you I believe in you they're going to tell you that that they care about you they're going to fall in love with you um, they're going to connect with you and you all are going to be very happy together 
you may be talking about or meeting someone from your past. There's something else that wants to come out. I'm not exactly sure what it is right now. I had that same issue with your reading earlier. Something wanted to come out, but I don't, don't know exactly what it is that needs to come out for you. Only you know what, what, what needs to be done. You want to uh, realize that you have someone very special. Re you're reconnecting with someone special or you're meeting some, someone special that's brand new for you. It's so, it, you're stuck. It's something that's the, about this Sagittarius reading. Just like earlier, something is hidden. And I don't know what it is. It wants to come out, but it's hidden. Maybe your feelings are hidden for someone that you want to reconnect to. You don't know what to say or how to say it to this person. Okay? And you're, you're really, really thinking about the things you could have shared with this person. A happy home, uh, beauty, amazing uh, uh, amazing uh, comparability with this person. You all complimented each other very, very well if you're thinking about an ex. Okay? If, if, if it's not possible for you to get back with this ex, you're going to move forward to someone new. Because you're going to have that strength and the fortitude to move forward with your life. Okay? You desire and want balance in your life. One foot in, one foot out, and you're headed toward a new dimension of happiness. Because you're, you're gaining that strength of character. Uh, you probably have someone who is helping you, talking to you, guiding you to the right direction. You're looking at readings, trying to figure out what you need to do. How do you need to compile all of your different feelings and emotions to make things more balanced for you in your life? Happiness, love, joy, emotion, fortune. You're definitely looking back, looking ahead, trying to figure out how you want your life to be. Because you don't want to be in a negative situation in a, or a negative environment or with a negative person anymore. And you've gained that strength of character and you're ready to branch out and start over again. Starting all over again. That's what you want to do, start all over again. Because you know you have that higher power, <clears throat> that tenacity. You are listening to your intuition. Uh, I want to say Scorpio. I'm sorry. You're listening to your intuition, Sagittarius, and it's pointing you into a new level of, of faith, uh, into a new path. And you're focused on making your dreams a reality. Okay? This two of cups that you're about to meet, this person who you are about to meet or go back to, to reconcile with, they're your happiness. They are... You all were meant to be together. You were meant to be with this person. But now you have some turbulence going on in your life right now. Okay? Judgment time. It's time for you to shit or get out the pot with the Scorpio. Who keep hearing Scorpio? Okay? I had a cross watcher earlier in the other week. So maybe the cross watcher is a Scorpio. Okay? But it's telling you it's time for you to either let that person go and meet someone new or get back with this person and work on what it is you need to work on. With. Stop holding all of your feelings in a paper bag, wherever they came from. Okay, some definitely some, some definitely some changes need to, need to be made because you want to be happy. You, you're getting older. None of us are getting any younger. We're getting older, so you need to decide, uh, Sagittarius, what it is that you want to do with your life because you're ready to step out on your faith. You're ready to step out because your intuition is telling you that there's someone who can balance you out. Okay, someone who can balance you out. I have the Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. You're focused on your life. Everything in it, you're focused on like a uh, a, a snow globe. You shake that globe and you see all these different things going on. That's what your life is like. All these different things going on in your life. Okay? Like a, like a snow globe. Okay? And you, but this person wants to, or you were not giving enough in the relationship in the beginning. It was very, very small. Someone was giving more into the relationship. Okay? But now you're headed because you want more in your life. Maybe you want uh, Sagittarius to finally give this person more. This is probably why the relationship ended in the first place because you weren't giving more. Okay, but now that you realize I don't have this person in my life anymore, I need to fix this. I need to, to regulate the temperance in this relationship faster than sooner and you're coming out of your feelings, you're coming out of your heartache, you're coming out of being alone and you're going to finally tell this person how you feel. Okay? You want a higher form of commitment with this person and you're really, really wanting to work on getting to know this person all over again, starting from scratch. There's something in here, too, about Walgreens, <laughs> wherever that came from, Walgreens. So maybe you met this person at Walgreens, or, or 
maybe that's where you pick your prescriptions up at. Heck, I don't know. Whatever. But whatever. If Walgreens means something to you, Sagittarius, or for whoever's watching, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So I have the Emperor. We have here the Nine of Wands, conflict with the Five of Wands, and holding on to your emotions and holding on to your feelings, Sagittarius. Um, you want to meet this person um, or re meet this person, reconciliate with this person, but, but it's, it's work. It's a lot of work because if it didn't work out the first time, why would it work out this time? Because you're the emperor. You're standing in your own truth and your power. You're going after what you want. It may take a little time, yes, okay? But you want this happiness. You want this, this stability, this stable home. Even if there's a little conflict that comes with every relationship that you are in or every every interaction that, you, that you're in, that's fine, but you got to be willing to deal with it and not hold on to these emotions and talk it out. Talk it out, work it out, and be about what you say. Be about what you say, Sagittarius, okay? And I have the Nine of Cups with communication, the World card, and the Death card. So you're coming out of it. You want to communicate with this person, whether it's an old person that you want to reconcile with or a new relationship. You want to speak your mind and tell this person how you feel almost immediately, communicating more effectively because you know that this person is your, your universe, is your world. They mean something to you, just like you mean something to them, Sagittarius. It's going to be the death of you not communicating and not giving your all to this relationship. It's going to be a death of you being selfish on your end, Sagittarius, or maybe it's them being selfish because you want more. You realize that you are worth more, and you're wanting to tell this person that you want to, to give this person your, your, your uh, two cups of love. You want to give this person your ten of cups of love because once you communicate with this person, once you fix what's broken in your life and take that new your new values into this new relationship, this recommitted relationship or a relationship with someone you haven't met yet, you all are going to have a very, very fruitful relationship, a very, very loving and kind and balanced relationship with this Ten of Cups. You all are going to share so much with one another, but it starts with you, Sagittarius. It starts with you. We want to end this reading with a spiritual, a spiritual animal card for you, Sagittarius, and we want to see uh, what spirit animal you need this week, okay? Spirit animal for the Sagittarius. I have two that popped out, so we're going to do both. I have the dragonfly, which is, brings magic. The dragonfly, which brings magic. And I have the fox, which is clever. So you, you're probably quite clever, Sagittarius, which I'm sure you are, or someone around you is clever. Okay, so I want to start with the uh, dragonfly, which is magic. I embrace my transformation. You are transforming. You're getting your life together so you can go back to the person you love or so you can attract new love into your life. Okay, I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. So you are brilliant and you are blessed. Okay. So the next one I have, again, here is a fox, quite clever. Clever, and it says, you are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. I said earlier you were guided by your intuition, okay? Always listen to your instincts. Resources around, resources surround you. Be open to romance. So let me read that again. Fox, you're clever. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you and be open to romance. Be open to romance here. Be open to romance, Sagittarius, because you deserve to be happy. Okay? I hope this resonates with you. It kind of touched on the same things I talked about earlier when the video was all messed up. You couldn't hear the sound. And I, again, I apologize for that. But I hope this uh, reading finds you well. And I really, really hope that you all visit me again soon. And I will talk to you all again. And, and enjoy your new life. Enjoy your new romance, Sagittarius, because you deserve, you deserve to be happy. Okay?